We have a big problem. Calves got in with the cows. Two days in a row, we weren't out here. There was no pressure on them. They're just walking over. Do you know where they're walking over? Yep, they busted through the gate. Okay. It's hitting at like 1.3. So that ain't gonna do it. See how that's hitting them, Paul? Yeah. It's grinding out right there, bro. All right, go turn it off. Let's take that off and then see what it does. 11.2. 11.2, so just one strand hitting a little metal pole. These casts, this is unprecedented. We've never had this many problems with the cast. You're gonna, if they keep doing this, they're gonna bust through even a hot fence. And then that means every night we're, we're hauling the cows down, putting them in a stall, and then hauling back up. Okay, 1.0, that's not good enough. There's a lot of nets on it. This is not one of our most powerful energizers. So this connects to the source right here. So don't need that net, nobody's in it. This is definitely one of the most exciting paddocks. Look at all the vetch. Look at all the growth studs in. Getting itched, eaten. It's definitely not a textbook paddock, but I love it. And they love it. They don't read the books. Look at that beautiful one. Don't she look beautiful today? Hey, what's the occasion for the pretty dress? I need to do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> you ran out of duds? I ran out of uh, shorts. The cows aren't in too bad of shape. No. What mineral program is this? The All right, we gotta move the milk sled. I got a little jam in there though. I don't know if it's gonna pull. It's a little boggy in here, so I don't know if it's sunk in. I'm gonna be crashing over these weeds. How are the sheep doing on minerals? They're all out. They're completely out. Wow. Why do you think they're so hungry for minerals? Well, because it's been a long time since I've refilled them. Why not just put them a salt lick out here, babe? Well, a salt lick, if I understand it correctly, has a lot of different minerals in it. And I like the free choice because they can pick and choose what they need. Like-minded neighbors are coming over for lunch. We're gonna make, what are you gonna make, Lily? Um, I think mashed potatoes. It's a perfect opportunity for the Burn It Up cooking show. Let's have Cajun chicken from the land. That's a good amount. Go ahead and rinse them, Lily, and then peel them. You're just full of so cute little surprises today. She's got on my socks. Well, you don't like these socks. I bought them for you and you don't like them, so. How, much, how are the potatoes going? Good. This is the key to a carnivore's diet. Just salt on meat can get old after about three months. Spices, garnish, Cajun chicken. For two chickens, I'm gonna do one and a half teaspoons salt, three quarter teaspoons black pepper, three teaspoons garlic powder, three teaspoons onion powder, I think the secret ingredient, three teaspoons smoked paprika. That's what makes it Cajun. One and a half teaspoon dried thyme. One and a half teaspoon oregano. Now let's mix, mix all that in. Honestly, I feel like we need another round of spices. Okay, I put a little bit more in there. I think it's looking a little bit better. Give a little olive oil and that will help keep the meat from drying out and it'll keep the spices from burning. Where you got the stuff for the broth, right there? Okay, okay that's good. Josh Thomas taught us this trick. We store our heads, feet, and necks inside the carcass. They just take up space in the freezer anyway and it forces us every time to make broth. We don't have to like set a time to make broth. It's just like if we have chicken, we're gonna have to make broth. Okay. Look at this. They're both laid the same exact direction. <laughs> The cat, Sabina, and Winnie. So we take our parted pieces and just get some of our glup, put it on both sides. I kind of go 
shallow on it at first because I don't, you know, I want it to spread evenly among all the pieces of chicken. And then I come back and add more if I can. We put them on a baking sheet with a, I don't know, what do you call these? Racks? Cooking racks? So air can get to the, heat can get to all sides. It's not sitting directly on a pan. How's that look, my people? I feel like maybe we could have done one more round of spices on it, but I think it's good. We got it at 375. 375 is near 350. And probably, I don't know, 45 minutes might do it. That's how long we have. We're gonna do it in an hour. The plot twist is we've got some potatoes going in there too. We just got some hibiscus tea going. Put that boiling water, a little bit of tea. You gonna cut the beans, honey? Mm-hmm. Good. When you find somebody nearby that's homesteading, like nearby, that that's important to try to cultivate that. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. And have some sort of relationship. I do know they own a chocolate factory. <laughs> <laughs> Organic. Organic, yes. I think we already traded some chocolate for eggs, and it was yeah. delicious. Oh, I know. I know. Hopefully, we can get that going again. How's hey, y'all. Let me bring the egg cartons back. Yeah. In. You guys ever had Cajun chicken? We buy expensive. Organic yeah. food, um, yeah. but like I was like, this is like know, the right? next level of it. That's what I'm talking about. This is the this good is, stuff. This has been all organic, fed, organic fed chicken. It was pasture, pasture raised, potatoes from this year, green beans that I just picked, and I just tomato salad. Not an ounce of spray. Salad. Not even organic spray. It doesn't get me. No. Okay, <laughs> this is all organic right here, guys. <laughs> His plate, her plate. We just said goodbye to our friends. Sundays are good for that, aren't they? Lunch with friends. We have to figure out this fence. We can't be doing the same thing and expect different results. That's called insanity. So Jonah, what's the plan? Besides <laughs> having to get pig panels out there. To get the bigger energizer from over there and put it over on the other side and yeah. hoping it'll be more powerful. That's good. That's a knock your socks off 36 joule Energizer, it's powering that pasture, but nobody's in that pasture right now. So we can just move it. And then we have the Speedrite 2000 on it right now. So that's 18 times as powerful. Let's walk the line and make sure it's not grounding out anywhere. This spot, Rebecca, I think we're vulnerable. I'm gonna secure this better. We've got this connected. Now, any more unnecessary nets it's disconnected here, it doesn't have to be connected, that's good. Flossie's in heat, he ain't gonna leave her. So Jonah herds the mama's over to be able to get the calves over, and then it's easier to get the moms back over without the calves. Look what they did to this paddock already. It's just the afternoon. Now here, watch this baby, look at this. Bad habit that baby's into. Three, we can get it up to three if we put it on right. That's almost three times what the other fence had. But I still don't know if it's enough. There's a lot of fence. That's part of our problem. The wire is probably hitting a post somewhere. This is grounding out pretty bad, but for it only to be hitting out of three, it's hitting, it's hitting some metal somewhere. It's not a little bit of hitting the ground somewhere. You know what I mean? Interesting place for them to leave the mattock. And so he's ready for me to test it. It's on! Did you say 3.3? 3.3! All right, we're gonna bypass these alligator clips. You run the wire straight, that's part of it. You do lose some when you go jump through alligator clips. It's not going full blast. Yeah, it doesn't, does it? We're gonna hope that fence holds at three. I'm gonna milk first thing in the morning, so there's two changes. Let's just hope for the best. The mineral thing, guys. I wrote this article on our mineral program and what we do, it's not just advanced biological concept. We do some other things like kelp and whatnot. Minerals, like food and water, are very important, but they're often overlooked. I will often get questions asked in an email, in a member text, or something like that. What is your mineral program? This is the most shared, not public document ever from me. I'm gonna share it with you guys you join my email list, I'll leave a link for that in the description. You join there and automatically you'll get my paper on our mineral program. It helps prevent illness, 
It's just an overall good base system. Keeps them thriving and healthy so that we avoid major problems most of the time.